My dear students, welcome to the video Partial Fractions and Binomial Expansions. Most uh, common reasons uh, actually for uh, splitting a, a fraction into partial fractions is so that the binomial uh, actually expansion can be implemented. Now, look at this question. Uh, given that f of x is equal to 10 x plus 1 over 1 minus 2 x 1 plus x express first f of x in partial fractions and hence obtain the expansion of f of x in ascending powers of x up to and including the term in x cube state the range of values of x for which expansion is uh, valid so first uh, we split into partial fractions 1 plus x so it is the first case a over 1 minus 2x uh, plus b over 1 plus x then um, after uh, actually taking common denominator and finding as you saw in the previous videos then it can be split into uh, a actually will be 4 4 over 1 minus 2x and then b is negative 3 so negative 3 over 1 plus x or you can say 4 1 minus 2x to the power of negative 1 minus 3 1 plus x to the power of negative 1 again now we have two binomial expansions here so 4 uh, there is no need to factor anything because it is 1 so it will be 1 it says up to uh, x cubed so it will be n is negative 1 so plus uh, negative 1 times the second term is minus 2x then plus negative 1 times negative 2 over 2 factorial minus 2x to the power of 2 plus negative 1 times negative 2 times negative 3 3 factorial minus 2x to the power of 3 then uh, then the second expansion will be negative 3 then 1 n is negative 1 minus 1 second term is uh, x so then plus negative 1 times negative 2 2 factorial x squared plus negative 1 times negative 2 times negative 3 3 factorial x cube um, then uh, at the end as you multiply then it will become uh, if we multiply by uh, 4 it will be uh, actually 4 times it will become 1 plus 2x plus 4x squared then plus 8x cubed the rest there is no need to write minus 3 1 minus x plus x squared minus x cubed plus then the rest is not needed so if you simplify at the end it will be uh, 4 minus 3 which is 1 then 8 um, plus 3 which is 11x then 13x squared and 35x cubed now uh, in uh, what interval uh, is valid so um, let me actually erase the board and to write so it is the final answer uh, for the first part which is the expansion of the x cube now let me erase the board now uh, for the next part it says in which interval this expansion is valid uh, the first one actually uh, which was uh, 1 minus 2x to the power of negative 1 the expansion is valid when 2x absolute value of 2x or negative 2x doesn't make any difference is less than 1 or x is between 1 over 2 and negative 1 over 2 the second expansion was 1 plus x to the power of negative 1 so absolute value of x less than 1 so x is between 1 and negative 1 now let's construct a number line uh, 0 1 negative 1 1 over 2 negative 1 over 2 so uh, first one negative half until half this is 
actually the interval and the second one is negative now this actually now as you see this is the common region between these two intervals so x between 1 over 2 and negative 1 over 2 is the interval in which the whole expansion will be valid